Hello, this is Rick Malava here. Uh, CTB RAM is my name in the forums, and one of the users uh, was asking how he would uh, fill in the, the flat area at the top of the stairwell that, or stairway that he created here. So here's the steps, and just wants to fill this region in here. And there's plenty of different ways that you can do this, but um, I'll show you one that works pretty quickly for me. So it's a pretty simple task. What we want to do is pick this edge and this edge and then holding the shift and the right mouse button down go to the marking menu and pick bridge okay now we've just got a big hole in the middle now I could just fill this and then manually cut edges across but um, let's do it a little smarter than that uh, what we'll do here is I can see I have one two if I was to put an edge in here that would be three and this would make a polygon at this end and this end that's a quad so what I'm going to do is come up to my uh, edge loop tool here which is under edit mesh uh, insert edge loop uh, I've got things on my uh, custom shelf up here that I always use and then I use marking menus so I almost never go to these drop down menus up here so uh, going back to what we were doing I'm going to pick the insert edge loop tool I'm going to add an edge right here and I'm going to add another edge over here Right, and now if you if you count these up, there's uh, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven faces. That would mean that there's ten edges in here. So what we'll do is uh, we'll come to multiple insert multiple edge loop, which <laughs> just happens to already be set to ten, and select here and add ten more edges. Now what I can do is just come in here, pick this whole edge loop, and then deselect these edges right here and then I can just do a uh, holding the shift and right mouse button again just do a bridge and then I can pick this edge and this edge and do a fill hole shift right mouse button fill hole and then if I wanted to be kind of anal about it and average these verts out I can go in here and manually move them around or uh, a little faster way to do it is pick uh, that row of edges right there uh, and then do uh, hold the control key down, not the shift, and the right mouse button and go to vertices. And now you've selected all the vertices that were attached to those edges and then shift, right mouse button, uh, and go to average vertices. And then press the G key a couple times to spread those out and now you've got a little better surface flow there. So <clears throat> there we go. So there's a top, it's nice and flat. I turn off the uh, wireframe unshaded with no lighting it's hard to see here I can smooth it but you can see it's a nice flat top area so that's how you'd fill that section in or at least how I would do it um, there's there's as many different ways as there are people to do these things in Maya but um, but that should get you where you need to go so I hope you found this video helpful and good luck with your modeling